Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Alright, guys, episode one of Pokemon Melanie Nuzlocke, a brand new Let's Play right here on the channel. If you guys are super duper hyped for this Let's Play, show your love on that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. You may be a little bit surprised to see Pokemon Melanite here, as I did actually do a Pokemon Melanite Let's Play months and months ago. However, I only made it to three episodes because I lost the playthrough and I never continued it. But this game is beautiful, man. This game looks amazing. The storyline seems really the storyline seems really cool. And I really wanted to actually play through it. Hopefully get all the way through the the, the storyline itself and 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 play through the demo or whatever. So the game is not complete. I believe it's three gems, but it's gonna be super fun either way. And I encourage you guys to play along with me. You can download the link to the ROM in the description from the Reddit post. Uh, just keep in mind it's not an emulator. You just download the game itself. You don't need any sort of other software to run it. You can just download the game and open it right up. You shouldn't have any issues. And I believe it's definitely works for Windows. Might be a patch for Mac as well. So if you want to be involved, definitely do that. But we're going to jump into this. And I do have a question today. We'll get to that in a little bit because uh, the, you don't know what the starters are yet. Uh, let me just check my options here, but we should be pretty good. I got tech speed on fast. Uh, we've got battle scene on. We're going to go to set battle style to make things a little tougher. I'll go with the red, the red frames to kind of get that vibe going here. And we'll confirm there. And let's get it started, man. So here we are. We are in Pokemon Melanite. And we're going to start in New Moon Island. I'm really excited for this game, man. Look how beautiful it is. The graphics are just amazing, and it's it's very well put together, um, and hopefully we can encourage, by all of us playing this game, we can encourage the creator to kind of move forward and, and finish finish what they started, because I think this game could be an amazing fan-made game, um, and I think you guys are going to dig it, so stick with me here. It should be a lot of fun. So, we see this scene of us uh, with our Torterra, or as a trainer with our Torterra, throwing a Pokeball at a Darkrai and catching the Darkrai. It was awakened. Oh my Oh my goodness, is it gonna catch the dark rye? It is gonna catch the dark rye. So I do have to admit, I know I did play through a few episodes of this a long, long time ago. I honestly don't really remember any of it. So uh, it's it's kind of relevant. So I'm kind of starting from scratch here. It has been a long time since I played this, so not too worried about that. But everything was going according to plan. 15 years later, so we're actually gonna fast forward 15 years in the future. Yeah, so that was not us. We were not the ones with the Torterra catching the dark rye. That's for sure. But maybe that was the reference to uh, Diamond, Platinum, and Pearl. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Ah, oh, this is oddly familiar. Before we get started, I should ask you if you need any assistance. If you need help, I am certainly capable of giving it. I think I can manage. Would you like to play a special game mode? So here's the, the tough part. I can randomize it. I can random lock. So I can make it a randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, or I could just make it the standard Nuzlocke rule. I do like randomizers, but I think I want to play the game as a Nuzlocke and how the creator intended it to be played initially. So I'm going to go with just a Nuzlocke mode, um, but you guys can play however you want um, if you want to try it out randomized. But I, I want to, because I never actually played through this game fully when it first was released or whatever, the demo, I, I really want to kind of experience it as the creator of the game intended it to be. That's why I don't want to randomize it. So all Pokemon that faint are considered dead. Nurses and Pokemon centers will heal the fainted members of your party. Revives and all reviving items will fail to work. Also, you're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon you encounter in each location unless you already have the Pokemon. If a wild Pokemon is defeated or you run out of Pokeballs, there is no second chance. So let's review these rules here. Really simple. Catch the first Pokemon in every route you encounter unless the duplicate. You don't catch duplicates. If you fail to catch that Pokemon, you don't get anything. If your Pokemon faints, a Vita Zane, Sayonara, a Riva Dirty, man, that thing's out of here. So it's very, very important that the Pokemon do not faint. That is our goal here. Would I like to play the Nuzlocke challenge? Let's do it. Nuzlocke mode is now on, and it is game time. And there's an Eevee. This world is inhabited by wonderful creatures we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them, but all Pokemon are different, unique in their own way. There are different types of Pokemon, all with different powers and abilities, but we don't know everything about Pokemon just yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. Some Pokemon are thought to control special forces in our world. Some Pokemon are meant to guard and protect this world. However, some Pokemon are thought of as evil and intend to destroy it. A little bit of foreshadowing, maybe. There is so much we don't know about Pokemon and our world. That's why I study Pokemon every single day. Now I'm on my way to the Zelo region, which is where this game takes place. I have been there once before, but I remember very little of it. That's how I feel. Uh, there was something about a prophecy. That's it. There was someone special. Ah, so there's a prophecy. That's how it always starts. I can't remember. Were they a boy or a girl? So I guess we're going to decide who the prophecy is. I'm going to go with the boy character. 
what was his name I guess this is gonna be me so I'm going to put my name is a drive and that will be our name so it was a drive yes I know this person is destined to do great things so this is very similar to our standard storyline in a Pokemon game right um, where you're kind of like whether you like it or not the character that you end up being the protagonist ends up being some sort of hero in a way right prepare yourself you are able to about to enter a strange wonderful world filled with pokemon you'll face fun times and tough challenges a world of dreams and adventures with pokemon awaits let's go i'll never get old of seeing that line man that that just takes me back to when i was a youngster so uh let's see if i can figure out how to do all this stuff because i gotta figure out the controls and stuff too but i think we'll be all right uh we're getting some periods ma a drive I guess she wouldn't say her own name. Come down here for a minute. I need you to run an errand for me. Sounds like my actual mom. Just annoying is what she is. Um, <laughs> I don't have a good relationship with my mom. That's awkward. Okay, so let's withdraw the potion. <laughs> All right, let's withdraw the potion because there's always a potion there. We got a sweet bed. See what's on TV. What do we got here? There's nothing good on TV. That sounds like my day-to-day -day grind. Unless it's in Practical Jokers, in which case it's all good. Uh, oh, there you are. Mom's super excited. I guess you finally decided to get off your computer that this is just like, am I in this game? Am I really playing right now? <laughs> if you're gonna go out, remember to stay away from the forest. There are dangerous wild Pokemon out there. So we need to stay away from the forest. There's some dangerous things out there, but I might need you to run an errand for me. Can you go see our neighbor down the street? You know, the move to leader's wife, she says she has something to give me. So the move to leader is actually like pretty close by, it looks like. So you could probably just go check out the new, uh, look at this. Tell me this game doesn't look amazing, by the way. Like you can just chill out on this little dock here. There's some cool lily pads. So you need to go to the move to leader's wife's house, which I don't know where that is, but we're gonna figure it out. Uh, probably this one. Oh, I think we walked the right way because here's Professor Oak. That was good. There's like a little uh, Starly chilling on the roof there. Where have I seen your face before? Hmm. Could you please tell me your name? A Drive. My name's A Drive. But it couldn't be. Did Did you say A Drive? Could this be the one? Hmm. I think I found the prophecy. No matter, I apologize for taking your time. I must be on my way now. Bro, you find the prophecy and then you're just gonna walk away from me? Come on. I'm like a special guy over here. I don't know what's going on, but let's keep going. I think this is the move to leader's house. Move to leader's house. That's perfect. And there's a little Starly up top. What's up, Starly? Hi, Drive. My grandparents are really busy right now. You should come back later. Okay, then. Well, I guess we're not going that way. And I'm going to assume this guy's not going to let me go that way because he's just standing there. So we're not going to the move to leader now. Perhaps we should go see Mr. Oak, wherever he might have went. What's up here? This is Route 3. There's no way this guy's gonna let me go. Yeah, no, there's a Scyther though. Looking like it's about to uh, cut down some trees. This game's awesome. One of the things I like about this game too, guys, is if I remember correctly, the Pokemon do follow you, which is just one of my favorite features. Um, I think we just go this way. What is this? He, this guy is like the worst guard ever. Be careful in the forest. There are dangerous bug Pokemon in there. Ooh, that sounds like something I like. Uh, obviously, Nuzlocke doesn't start till we get Pokeballs, by the way. Yes, I'm starting to remember this now. This is the place. This is where Celebi lives. <gasps> but there was something else. So Celebi lives in this forest. Hmm. Oh, I must hurry. So Oak is just booking into the forest. So we're going to just follow him, I guess. I'm not in control right now. So the Dusk Forest. Here we are. And we're going to see what Mr. Oak is up to. He's just kind of hanging out here. You sure are a curious one, aren't you? Don't be afraid, I mean you no harm. I'm sorry to say I can't handle this, uh, I can't say the same for the Pokemon hiding in the tall grass around us. So they mean us harm, apparently. Why would they mean us harm? We're just some little, oh my goodness! So, <laughs> dude, there's a shiny Ariados. Uh, follow me into the building ahead, we'll be safe from the Ariados and Spinarak inside. Can I just go get that shiny Ariados? Can I just go catch that? That'd be cool. That was sick. Uh, so we're inside Professor Oak's hut now. And he just happens to have this little hut here. Aha, here it is. What? Are, what is it? What do you got for me? Sorry about that. There's a lot going on right now. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling with some periods right now. An ellipsis, I think is what it's called. That was a scary experience back there. I would guess that was your first time being attacked by wild Pokemon. Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself yet. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Now, as much as I'd like to sit and chat, I have a lot of work to do and not a lot of time. What can I do? If this is truly the one, I certainly can't let him go back out there alone. Yeah, dude, don't just leave me be, man. That sounds like a terrible idea. I apologize. I was thinking aloud. It seems we have a bit of a predicament. I just don't have the time to take you back to Lilytown. All right. Time out. 
Oak, I gotta be real with you, man. It's like a two minute walk. It's not even that big of a deal, but that's okay. So anyway, I think this might mean he's gonna give us a Pokemon. I think that's what this means. So I, I, I'm not gonna complain too much. Follow me over here, please. All right, so he maybe, maybe he's got some, po ooh, there's three Pokeballs in this little capture thing. And this is where our question of the day is gonna come up, guys. Which of these starter Pokemon would you choose and why? Take a moment to let me know in the comments section below as soon as you see what they are. And if you're playing along with me, which I really encourage you guys do, play along with me, it'll be a good time. Um. Let me know what starter you're gonna pick because I think there's some pretty cool starters here. Uh, I chose to visit a few of my friends in the Zalus Pokemon League on my way here. Three of the Elite Four gave me a Pokemon as a gift. So this is really cool. This is kind of foreshadowing that the Elite Four is gonna have th the evolved form of these three Pokemon. So we'll see what they are here in a second. You've got Croagunk, which is the poison fighting type Pokemon. This is the Pokemon I actually chose the last time. So I am not picking Croagunk this time. You got Sneasel, the dark and ice type Pokemon. And you've got Natu, the Psychic and Flying type Pokemon. Now, this is a very tough decision for me to make, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I think it is time for me to go with Sneasel, man. I gotta go with Sneasel. I gotta go with Sneasel. And I, I just feel like Sneasel's so powerful. It's just so good. It's such a good Pokemon. So, um, and it's a female, female too, so, I think I need to, uh, I think I need to name this after my friend, my good friend, my dearest Liz. I'm going to name Pro Sne uh, after Pro Sneasel, so this Sneasel will be named Liz. It was a female, I just had to, so shout out to my good friend Liz, uh, who is one of the, the best supporters and best mods of the Age Drive Army I could ever ask for. Thank you for being my friend, Liz. Love you. So, you have chosen Sneasel as your partner. Now that you have your own Pokemon, you should be able to get back to the town safely. Good luck, Age Drive. I expect great from things, things from now. You should hurry now. Your mother must be worried sick. So. We got our first Pokemon, and it is a Sneasel, and it is named Liz, and let's see if I can figure out how to open up my menu here. Let's take a look. Look at this menu, by the way. It looks really cool. So let's take a look. We got the Pokemon. We got Liz, the Sneasel. It is dark and ice type. Docile nature likes to thrash about. Nothing too crazy there. We can see its IVs as well. Flawless attack stat. That means it's got as strong of an attack as it can with a, without the right nature, but scratch, leer, taunt. So nothing too crazy there. Obviously, it is a little bit frail, but I think because it's just such a strong Pokemon in general, like its base stats are higher than you know everything else. I think its defenses are going to be kind of on par with everything else anyway. So here we go. We don't have Pokeballs yet, so we're going to pick up this antidote. We don't have to worry about catching a Pokemon, but I'm sure we're going to run into some wild Pokemon and we will come back into this forest later to catch some wild Pokemon uh, and add it to our team I'll kind of skip some of the battles right now because we don't have pokeballs anyway. What's happening? What was that noise? Oh My god, it's a spinner rack. He's chasing me. Look at this little guy. He's chasing me. Oh, he's angry too. <laughs> Look at him. He's so angry Why is he so angry? Oh god, there's another one. There's all of them. They're coming for me. I, I'm a little worried right now uh, Why are they chasing me outside of the forest though? Uh, can I catch this? Sneasel's trying to get out of its Pokeball. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? Sneasel's, you know, it just scared those away. Oh my god, am I gonna battle it? I guess I'm battling the Ariados, guys. So we'll see how Sneasel fares against a level three Ariados, which is super powerful. Liz, I need you right now, Liz. If there was ever a time I needed you. Look at this battle screen, by the way. I really like the battle screen. Um, so I think my play here is just to go for Scratch. See how much it does. Uh, Sneasel does have a very good attack stat. So it should do a decent amount to this thing. Oh my goodness, that was a crit. That did a lot. Uh, he's gonna go for Constrict, that's not an issue. I think we're good against his Ariados, just because it is level three, and we got that crit scratch right off the bat there. So I'll see you later, Ariados, but that was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, man. And we're gonna grow a level. Oh, I just love the, the, the overlay, the HUD for this. They did a really good job, in my opinion. Am I gonna battle the shiny one, too? No, he ran away! I wanted to battle it. Well, thank you, Sneasel. Sneasel doesn't want to go back to his Pokeball. Sneasel will now follow behind you. You can press Control to, to, to toggle the following Pokemon. So yeah, there's a hotkey that you can use to just switch your following Pokemon, which is really cool, so. There you are. Oh, thank goodness, you're all right. Your mother has been worried sick. She said you left for the neighbor's house and never came back. Uh, is that a Pokemon? I don't know what happened, but you should hurry back home. Again, the, uh, the greatest guard ever knows I didn't have a Pokemon, yet he lets me into the forest, and it looks like my mom has called a town council meeting. She wants you to vote for Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump, whichever you prefer. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't care that A-Drive is growing up. This doesn't change him being missing. Are you sure he never showed up at your house? Positive. Oh, that's another person. Positive, I remember hearing some old people talk outside. Yes, Grammy, I saw a strange old man walk into town. 
You don't think? This man wouldn't have taken a drive. Who would do such a thing? Well, where could he? I, I can't do the voices. It's changing too many perspectives, guys. So the road to Route 3 is covered in rocks and trees. A drive must be in the forest. We need to go find him. I sure am hungry. Dude, I feel you, bro. I haven't had breakfast yet, man. Hey, isn't that a drive over there? The guy looking for food solves the mystery. I think that's a sign that I should go get myself some breakfast or lunch here in a minute um, after this episode. <laughs> I can't believe how irresponsible you behave. You had me terrified. You were going to be in so much. Is that a Pokemon? How did you get that? You know what? You should come inside and rest. We can discuss later. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. I appreciate this. The town hall meeting is adjourned. We are going to vote for Hillary Clinton now. Uh, now you need to tell me what happened. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I went to the forest. Professor Oak was there. He gave me a Pokemon, said I was a prodigy, and I picked up an antidote. Got attacked by an Ardeo, so now I'm here. I want to be mad, but I'm just happy you didn't get hurt. You owe me that. You owe that man, Professor Oak, your life. You should go back there and thank him. Oh, and if you need it, I can heal your Pokemon for you. So... Mom is a portable Pokemon Center. Luckily for me, we're in good shape. We're ready to rock and roll. We're going to get happy and healthy, and we're going to get our Sneasel right the way back to full health. And it's time for us to go right back to that forest, baby. So let's go. I don't think we have any ability to run at this point. I do believe there are running shoes. I just don't think we have them yet. I know I can speed up. There's a speed up function, but I don't like using the speed up function. It messes up the audio. It sounds kind of weird, whatever. So here we are. We're, we're back in the lab. It just says lab on the door, so we know we're in the right spot. And where did he go? No, seriously, where did he go? He's supposed to be here. He wasn't. Got, he didn't have time to walk us back to town, but he's time. He had time to not be here. What is this? There's a box sitting on the table. Open it. There's a letter inside. Dear A Drive, I write this in haste as I have no idea how much time I have left. I am sorry. I don't have time to explain everything to you. They are coming for me. The forest Pokemon won't be able to hold them off for long. Take the items in the box. They will help you on the coming journey that you can that cannot be avoided. I can I can't be entirely sure that you are the one, but when I first heard your name, I don't have the time to explain in this letter. Inside the box, there's a red computer-like device is called a Pokedex. Use it and automatically record data on any Pokemon you encounter. The other device is called the Poke Gear. You can use it to view a map of the region and uh, you are currently in and make phone calls and a few other things the five ball shaped devices are called pokeballs so here we start our journey use them to catch wild pokemon to help you on your journey you have no idea what this is about but if i'm correct you may be the only one who can stop what is coming go to novum town and find a lady named alice she should still be there find alice until her peace has been broken once again she will know what that means. Hopefully, she remembers more than I do. I came here on a strange hunch I got, and it's all slowly coming back to me. It's only fair I tell you since I'm asking so much. So, Professor Oak has vanished. He's got some crazy things going on. He needs us to be the ones to take care of. He gave us a Pokeball, Pokeballs, uh, Pokedex, Pokeballs, and the Dex thing. And we need to go find Alice in the next town to tell her that the peace has been broken. I'm relying on you guys to remember this. <laughs> the letter seems to cut off there. So I'm gonna pick up the Pokedex, I get my five Pokeballs, and I get the uh, the Poke Gear is what it was called. So, uh, and now we're in good shape, but Professor Oak has vanished, and now we have to go find Alice. So I'm a little bit worried. Let's check his trash can. There's nothing in it, even though it looks like there's trash in there. And is there anything in here? There's no item, so I guess I, I logged into my computer. Um, that would be really cool if there was a computer network system that just existed in the world, and you can sit on any computer and log into your account and be able to access everything. Uh, I mean, I guess that's what the internet is, but <laughs> but you know what I mean? I guess you could do that Like I actually have an external uh, cloud drive that I, I've been meaning to set up that allows me to kind of do that same thing um, I can remotely access it from any computer, but it'd be kind of cool. Uh, definitely in 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 uh, It's a great way to get hacked. Um, so here we go. Here we are in the forest uh, The first Pokemon I encounter here I am able to capture and that's how the Nuzlocke rules work So I'm gonna encounter the first Pokemon. It is gonna be a Wormpole, baby. So we are going to catch a Wormpole here and add it to our party, hopefully. And uh, Liz, I hopefully you won't kill this thing with scratch. I'm going to scratch it. And if you knock it out, then it's not worthy of being on the team. That's what it usually comes down to, in my opinion. And it is worthy. It is worthy. This is a worthy Wormpole. So I'm going to catch this little guy here. And it's a male Wormpole. And I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. And we're going to add this little guy to a team. That's what we're going to do. Wormple, come come with me, buddy. How you doing today? You want to be on our team? You want to join join Liz, and you guys could be best friends. It looks like that was a yes. Thank you for answering so uh, promptly there. So Wormple's gonna be added to our squad here, and uh, we gotta come up with a cool nickname idea for Wormple. So it sticks to tree branches and eats leaves. The thread it spits from its mouth, which becomes gooey when it touches air, slows the movement of it. I couldn't read the rest. So, but I'd like to give a nickname. Yes, we gotta nickname all of our Pokemon, and uh, I gotta think of a cool nickname for Wormple. 
Typically, I name my Wurmples Amethyst when they're shiny. Um, I guess I could name this thing Ruby, which is actually what I ended up naming my Wurmple on the last time I did this, but I don't know if I want to use that same nickname. So, uh, I, I wish I just knew if it was going to be a Dust Ox or a Beautifly. That's, that's the problem with Mr. Wurmple. Um, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to name him Wormy. And I know that's a terrible nickname, but I think Wormy is a great name at the end of the day. So we got Wormy here. And if I'm not mistaken, I can actually do this and swap Wormy. So Wormy's been following me and Sneasel's following me now. So let's take a look at Wormy and see what he's doing here. I know it's a terrible nickname, but I love it anyway. So Wormy, he's level two. He's got Tim in nature. So that's gonna uh, drop his attack plus his speed. And uh, he's got good spadef, uh, you know, his speed stat is okay. Terrible attack stats. So we're gonna hope this thing, I guess either Dustox or Beautifly would be fine. Both of them are more on the, the special offensive side of things. I'm just glad I got my little my little Wurmple following me, man. You know, you know I love those, but look at him crawling behind me. He's so cute. He's just a cute little guy. Oh man, it's Mom. Oh hey Drive, you're back. Did you talk with the professor? He wasn't there, Ma. He wasn't there. What am I supposed to do? So he left you a letter with instructions. Do you plan on following them? Why do I bother asking? Of course you do. You're growing up so fast. I guess I can't stop you. In fact, I give you my blessing. Go on an adventure. Do something for this world. Can you give me some running shoes or something? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> now we got the running shoes. Um, thank you for that, Ma. They come with instructions. Hold down Z to run fast and before S to toggle running and walking. I'm um, going back inside. Oh, and in case you didn't know, Novum Town is right through Route 1. Please come visit me. So we can just toggle and I can just like permanent run, perma run. So that's probably what I'm going to do because it's just faster. Um, are you and your Pokemon tired staying west a while? Yeah, I definitely want to heal up my little Wormy here. So Wormy and uh, Liz need to be healed and ready to rock and roll because we got uh, we got some tough stuff coming up ahead here. So I just love that little porch. Hopefully we can do something with that later. Anything going on over here? Do I just get to go to the next town? No one's going to stop me? Oh, I get to just go. So we get to catch another Pokemon here. Whatever Pokemon I encounter in this grass is the Pokemon we can catch. Are you a trainer? Do you want to battle me, though? I'm going to battle this trainer first. When you meet eyes of the trainer, you must battle. All right, let's see what this trainer has. This might tip us off to what could be in this wild grass, too. It's got a Starly, which is a bit scary. Um, but I think if I do Wormy here and then I switch out to my homie Liz, I think Liz can probably beat the Starly, I would hope. So let's swap it around. Let's head out to the homie Liz, and I'm level 6, so I would imagine that Liz is going to have very few problems here taking on a Starly, and if I'm wrong, then uh, this playthrough will end after one episode instead of three. Um, it's going to use Tackle. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be... Okay, so yeah, I took that pretty well, actually. Um, let's go with... Uh, let's just go with Scratch, because we don't really have any, any other good options here. I'm not going to taunt this thing. This thing is powerful, dude. This, this uh, Sneasel is pretty powerful. Aside from its docile nature, which is definitely a bummer, this thing is pretty amazing. So Starly is is by all means just not living that hit. No chance. Wormy's going to grow to level 3, baby. Good job, Wormy. And Liz is going to grow some experience here. She's got a Zigzagoon, too, so this is no joke. She's not messing around, man. I'm actually a little bit worried about the Zigzagoon. I'm going to do my best to knock it out in two hits here. That looks close. I might have to use a potion. That did... That did five. I'm going to scratch, and I should be okay. As long as it doesn't critically hit me, it's going to tail whip me. We're in good shape. I don't think this thing learns quick attack or anything, so I'm pretty sure I could just go for scratch here again. I really don't want to lose to a Zigzagoon this early. I think I'm good. So Zigzagoon, <laughs> that would have been really bad if I just lost Liz right away. Look how much experience Liz just got, though. Maybe I should have closed my eyes. All right, so that chick's done. Easy peasy. Let me grab some uh, some Ranberries here. We could use those to heal up our team. I might catch this next Pokemon and then head right back to the, the town to heal up because I don't know how, how long Route 1 is going to be, and it, it might be pretty brutal. So we're going to want to make sure that uh, we don't have any issues here. Let's just grab all the berries we can. Grab all the berries we can. That's a lot of berries, man. Six berries. All right, let's swap it around here, do a little swap Reno action, and let's find out what's in the wild grass. Whatever this Pokemon is, we will be able to capture it, and it's going to be a Lotad, little baby Lotad, chilling in the grass, looking awesome as ever. Lily pads, that's what we saw earlier, the lily pads. I'm pretty safe to just scratch here. I really don't think he'll kill me in one hit. Is he worthy? Can he live a scratch? He is worthy, ladies and gentlemen. Lotad is worthy. So we're going to try to catch this little thing. He looks kind of cool. Let's catch him. He's, he's like swimming in the water. He wishes he was in the water. This adds some type diversity to my team. So you know what? I dig it. Mr. Lotad, welcome to the team. Hopefully you will join us very shortly here. And he will. Thank you so much for joining us, Lotad. You're so nice. Um, all right. Let's think of a nickname idea for a female Lotad. 
Uh, so this Pokemon lives in ponds of clean water. It is known uh, to ferry small Pokemon across ponds by carrying them on a broad leaf on its head. So that's pretty cool. Uh, would I like to give a nickname to Lotad? Yes, I would. So Lotad is going to turn into a female Ludicolo, hopefully one day, or a Lombre, uh, which is uh, another word for Ombre. Um, so I'm trying to think of something I can name this thing that would be really, really cool. Um, let me think here. Let me think here. Um, I am going to name it very strange name. I'm going to go with Bella. I'm going to go with Bella. Uh, I don't know why. I just felt like that was the right name. So let's go heal up again. Take a look at Bella and see kind of where we're at here as we have this beautiful. There's look at look at little Otad following us. Look at it. He's so cool. All right. So let's see what, uh, what mom has to say here. Heal us up again. Heal me up, lady. Let's go. All right, so we're all happy and healthy. Be careful and stay safe. Let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Uh, let's just look at Bella and see if it's any if she's any good. She's got uh, the Jolly Nature, which is pretty terrible, uh, and Flawless Defense. So I'm, I'm actually going to go on a, lum a limb here and say that every Pokemon you catch has one Flawless stat. It, it seems like that could be a thing. But, you know, I mean, minus, that's not the greatest thing in the world. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. But what I'm going to do here, guys, is we're going to call it a day. We're going to click that save button. And that's going to be it for us here today. Definitely never know which uh, starter Pokemon you like the most. Not to sneeze out or, uh, or crow gunk. And don't forget to show your love on that like button down below for episode one of a brand new series here on the channel guys uh in terms of upload schedule just to clarify i plan on uploading this in alternating days from the cage lock so basically i'll be uploading the cage lock either one day or two days a week because it's a monday wednesday friday series so any day i'm not uploading the cage lock i'm gonna try to upload melanite basically for the next couple weeks so that's kind of my plan i'll do my best things have been a little hectic but i think i can probably stick to that schedule so i'll do my best so that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you guys did enjoy sure love that like button down below subscribe if you're new don't forget the question today and that's going to be it for me. I will catch you guys later. My name is Dan. I'll just go by A-Drive. Peace.